Hey everybody. So I figured I'd do the talking head thing today. I've got some updates. Um, it's Sunday. It's um, quarter past 11 in the morning and I'm just hanging out here and having a coffee and um, got the little guy in the other room that's taking a nap. So I figured I'd whack this one out real quick. Um, three days post Brexit. Yeah, I know. Um, not going to get into that. Um, you know, that's a completely different subject. And um, uh, but to uh, answer some people's questions, because I had the the, uh, the the previous video I did, I, I mentioned it, and I thought that I, I didn't think it was a good idea. And that's after I had pretty much um, uh, flip flop myself. I was on a leave camp, and then I went to a remain camp when I really actually thought about uh, the repercussions of various things. Um, people. They don't know, don't may not realize that, um, uh, you know, my perspective on this. Um, after being in uh, America for several decades um, uh, and going through a period of hating Americans, um, mostly because my mom was um, very uh, anti-American, can't trust Americans, can't like Americans. Um, and it came to a point where I, I had to figure out myself when I got to my uh, early 20s and I was pretty much um, nobody, uh, everybody's Americans. I didn't have any American friends. I had, you know, being in America, I had friends who were all, you know, from, uh, from other countries. Um, you know, they were either from, uh, you know, South America, the Caribbean, or Europe. Or Europe. Uh, you know, so... Um, uh, I had to discover myself, and that's why I have a unique perspective on what's going on. Um, and my own discovery to um, find my place and how to coexist. Um, so, I'd be happy to to uh, to talk about anybody. Uh, talk about that with anybody that wants to uh, to talk about it. But anyway, um, without uh, further interruption, uh, you know, particularly over the Brexit. The updates are boards for this guy, this Cobra 2000 board. It's in production. Uh, I'll probably see it in a month, um, you know, give or take. Uh, but it's going to be a while. Uh, I didn't opt for the uh, the quickest uh, shipping or anything like that. It's pretty much a when I get it is when I get it. Um, so, you know, they're not cheap. Boards are not cheap. Not this size. Um, and, and, and this one, these, these bloody things cost about ten, eleven dollars a piece. And I got five of them because that's the minimum. Um, so maybe Yellow Crow will be nice to me and they will give me ten. If they give me ten, well, then I got my bang. I got, I, I got a bang for the dollar there. Um, I did go ahead and put in the, por the plug for the, for the, uh, uh, wireless. Uh, I figured what the hell. It'd be a good experiment, so I'm going to do an experiment with it. I also wrote in code uh, a uh, simple serial command interface. So you can throw a um, uh, USB to uh, TTL serial, 3.3 volts, um, uh, open up uh, Putty or uh, Real Term or any, you know, pro whatever uh, your uh, favorite. Um, uh, you know, terminal software is, and uh, issue commands to it to change frequencies, VFOs, other parameters. Uh, so, you know, that's going to come along nicely. Um, I'm still going to tinker with the with the uh, uh, with the wireless. Um, I don't think it'll work, uh, mainly because uh, board inside of metal cage with covers. There, I don't have the covers on this for obvious reasons because I've been looking at it. But yeah, it's. I don't think it's going to work. However, you can get these little modules with an antenna connector on them, so you just run your antenna out. So if I'll leave that to somebody else if they want to do it. The the uh, you have the module, you have the capability of using it. Um, you have the uh, serial interface, so um, you you can uh, command it to do whatever you want um, wirelessly. So. Uh, well, within reason or whatever it's set up to do. You're obviously not going to change the volume and, and things like that. So, um, but you know, change frequencies, do other things. It's just a, a you know, a, a thing. You know, I'm just I'm just dabbling. 
Um, so that said, um, in other news, um, some people may be familiar with the Bearcat um, 980. Okay, I'm gonna find. I'm just looking for a picture of it here. Right, I had a picture of it. One of these guys. So that radio, for in a lot of ways, and a lot of people have sort of deemed this thing as um, as it cannot be hacked or cannot be uh, modified. Um, that's not entirely accurate. Um, without going too much into it, let's just say that I figured it out. <laughs> um, uses an obsolete microcontroller. Um, that's all. Everything you need to know about how to get into that uh, or to make that radio do other things in the data sheet. Everything you need to know. That one's masked. So you can forget about changing the uh, program in uh, you know in, that that in the mask program. But well, who said you had to change the mask program? <laughs> I'll leave that up to you to think that one through. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'm just figuring out now. See, the, prob the, the problem with this thing is, is it worth it? Because it isn't going to be cheap. And, um, you know... <sighs> I've probably already invested uh, in this particular uh, R&D project. And just, again, it's another one of those for the hell of it things. Because I try to keep myself preoccupied with things that are not work related. Um, so when I have to do my regular work, which, you know, involves software and electronics, um, I don't want to, I want to do something else that's kind of fun for me. And that's what I used it for, to break that, that ice, to, to that monotony. And so, um, but the thing about this is, I'm probably going to get 50 emails now. How did you do it? Well, with great difficulty. Um, so, uh, I need to figure out some more things. First of all, I don't know that it's comp worth it. It's... It's a nice radio, but is it worth the work that it's going to take for the average Joe to to do it? Uh, the only way that you're going to be able to do it right now is have the thing tethered to a bloody computer. You're not going to take your radio into your into your vehicle and put it up there, slide, or keep a laptop with you so that you can go and um, you know alter uh, uh, things on the fly. Uh, no, it's not going to work. Uh, but that is the only way right now to. Um, to get that radio to go outside of its um, masked range um, is to alter things in transit. Um, so you know, it, it, it's not um, it's not feasible uh, currently. So I need to figure it out, brainstorm a little bit more, think about it some more. But uh, it's possible, but I'm really leaning on the not practical uh, right now. Um, it's just going to be too much work uh, to do it. Uh, there isn't any way to swap out that MCU uh, for anything else because there's nothing that's pin compatible with that particular Renesis CPU that's in there. Um, it's masked to boot. Um, it drives the digits on the display is another problem. So your application uh, has to do all of that. It's possible, but I don't think it's practical. So, on that note, guys, that's basically it. Um, you know, not nothing really, nothing much else to report. Um, I'll keep messing around with the 980 here and there, and um, when I get this, um, well, the board to go in here to take this out, uh, we'll have fun. Uh, uh, I'll stuff that. We'll have fun smoke testing it. I'll throw the camera down in front of it and. We'll flip the switch and we'll see if it smokes. So um, that's basically it. Um, uh, any comments, questions, by all means, send them my way. Uh, if it's about the 980 um, and you want to help, maybe, uh, that might not be a bad thing because um, that one's probably going to require a bunch of help. 
really. Um, you know, somebody might have an idea uh, about how to um, uh, to adapt uh, things to that radio. Um, I just don't think it's it's practical. I think that really the ultimate thing is I think it's just going to be simply be too expensive to um, uh, to consider enough for a radio that's you know uh, 150 U.S. dollars. It's just not worth it. Um, this probably isn't worth it either, but this is a hobby project too. So hobby projects, you know, there is a cost limit, but when it's just me having fun, eh, you know. Anyway, guys, till next time, uh, take care of yourselves. Uh, remember not to fight amongst each other, even with the Brexit, you know, or the regrexit, I guess they're calling it now. <laughs> anyway, guys, till next time. <laughs>